My name is Hathaishi, I'm 33 years old and I'm here today to talk about endometriosis. When I was a teenager, I think you are told that as a woman you'll have pain when you have your period and I thought nothing of it. Um, it was only when I had a conversation with some friends and they found out that I'd been bleeding for two weeks, they asked, why are you bleeding for two weeks? And I still didn't really think anything of it. My period had always been very heavy um, from the moment I started having them. It was only in university uh, when I got to final year uni, uh, I thought, I remember one lecture, I was sitting in the lecture theatre trying to tear the pages out of my notebook just so that I wouldn't scream out in, from the pain um, that I was having that day. And to try and stop myself from crying in the middle of this very crowded lecture theatre. So they, um, that day when I had that kind of experience, I thought, no, this isn't right. Something needs to yeah, change. So I started asking my parents if I could see a doctor and we went and saw a gynecologist. I don't even think endo was on the radar of the doctors for a long time. I think um, first it was looking at irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, and then when they weren't satisfied with that, they put me into hospital for a week and did a whole bunch of tests. And they came up with abdominal migraine. I kept going into emergency with intense pain that couldn't be treated. Uh, they tried to treat the migraines, um, but that wouldn't get rid of the pelvic pain. Um, and so I kept going into emergency needing medication and that's when you get accused of drug seeking uh, because you are constantly needing, you know, high doses of very intense <laughs> pain relief. So at that point, um, I decided, no, I need to take this, I need to take control of this. And I decided to see a naturopath, um, who was really the only person at that time who was actually listening to me. And I made lifestyle changes to my diet and things like that before, this was even before the endo was diagnosed. When I was around 23, I went into emergency with another flare-up of pain and I was rolled back into the emergency room and I overheard the doctor telling my brother, who's also a doctor, um, that they need to investigate psychological causes. And that, uh, and my brother said in response, no, you need to continue to investigate organic causes. Um, I can assure you my sister's not in need of psychological in intervention. And then he persisted and he said, well, what about her relationships? Is she in a safe relationship with her partner? Um, and I overheard all of this. And then finally, my brother said, no, you're going down the wrong track. You know, you need to investigate something else. And they said, well, the only thing we haven't done is a laparoscopy. The doctor said, we found spots of endometriosis. And I remember her saying, you know, there's a few spots, spot, 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 spot. Um, but I don't think this is endometriosis. This is more um, stress related and you're in a very stressful career. So you need to change careers in order to control this. And I didn't really understand because I'd, I'd heard of endometriosis because uh, at university, but I, um, I didn't know too much about it. So when she said, you know, this doesn't need treatment, you take their word for it. So I left that appointment without needing a follow-up, without any follow-up treatment. And um, unfortunately in that time, it gave it a chance to grow and spread and come back. And so three years later, I needed another laparoscopy. Um, and finally, I was officially diagnosed with endometriosis in 2011. I wasn't aware that there were specialists in endometriosis. And so I decided to do my research and found a doctor that I could um, go and see because at that time we were, my husband and I were deciding to start a family. In my experience, my endo presented with more gastroenterological symptoms. And I've had friends who have endometriosis that don't have those symptoms. Uh, one of my friends, she would have blackouts, she would faint just randomly. And I think that's an important thing that women need to understand is that 
if you know one person with endometriosis, you know one person with endometriosis because it's such an individualised condition. It will present very differently from case to case. I have um, a very good close network of support. So my brother, my parents and, as, and of course my husband who's been unbelievably supportive. To have a few people that you can really rely on and to vouch for you um, and stand up for you is really important. After having my baby, uh, the pain that I've experienced so far has been a lot better actually. I think I had to become my own doctor uh, in all of this. I don't have a medical degree, but after having a decade of being in and out of hospital and in and out of doctor's rooms, uh, you start to learn a lot about the field. And so you need to trust your instinct and you need to educate yourself when you do have any kind of chronic condition, especially endometriosis, because unfortunately a woman's pain isn't always taken seriously. 